This might be over there watching somebody get arrested. He's so nosy. I was just case he needed backup. <laughs>
such a liar. Yeah, they don't give you a whole lot of little spots where you can see out. They wait till you get all the way up here. And when you get out of the car, you're like, wow. How are you like? <laughs> Restaurant is closed. It was closed last time we were here. Yeah, someone went here food up here, you know? Yeah, we were there, I'm not hungry, but I would love some coffee. Got some from the lodge, <clears throat> but I only got one little cup. Was it delicious? Yeah, it was really good. I would love to have a second cup. Does it make any sense? As not a whole you, lot that makes go, sense to me. As you, as you go up, our temperature is going down. What? I mean, that temperature, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out your reasoning for your question. You're closer to the sun. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hotter? <laughs> Hot air rises type deal. Well, anyway. <laughs> I'm here to break news. These are the trees I was talking about that I love. How the trees are dead. I mean, they don't. It really doesn't translate in the video, but, yeah, we still got four minutes, so. But you can see they're they're progressively dying. <laughs> much, much like I am, or will be. I'll just move up here and live on top of the mountain. It's on 64 degrees. The fact that the trees can't even live up here. I can make it. <laughs> sure. I can make it. You're not that tough. <laughs> I love these trees. I wonder if they grow where we want to put our cabin. Well, Tommy pointed out last time we were here, it was basically us and one other couple. One other couple. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ow, 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 ow. Shit's hot. It's burning my, look how red my hand is. Oh, the cup? Yeah. Had an emergency. All right. <clears throat> Dang. All right, so we're gonna go up here. So they got a little snack shack where they sell drinks and sandwiches. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> That's too hot for my hand. Alicia Mitchell, scientist and professor, died in an attempt to prove this mountain <laughs> highest in eastern. You at grave is at the summit. Ooh. So just a quick voiceover, I had to mute this because there was a lot of children and there was some very young babies crying, which you know is understandable. But anyway, that was the um, the replacement stone, the original from what I understood, they put up there and it 
actually blew off the mountain. So this was a temporary marker that was only supposed to be there for a very short time and it ended up staying there for like 15 years. Um, that's the one that blew off the mountain and broke. And now, you know, you, you'll see what they've got up there. But I found this part very intriguing because y'all remember I said about Clingman's Dome, I would like to take y'all there. And I didn't know this at the time, but that gentleman there um, was a student of Alicia Mitchell's. And he's the one that discovered or hiked Clingman's Dome. And so they ended up having this huge rivalry until Alicia's death, which is actually why Alicia died. Um, over which mountain was tallest, Mount Mitchell or Clingman Stone. And the, the figure dude that you saw, that was the mountain man who actually went and recovered Alicia Mitchell's body off of Mount Mitchell. Alright, here we go now. <laughs> yeah, it looks enchanting. Don't it? <clears throat> On the trees. Down through there too. Like you could just wander through there. Through there. <laughs> yeah, they got benches. I'm getting marble mine vibes though. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little hilly. <laughs> Do what now? Say the park ranger just went up right in front of us. He had uh, binoculars with him. Hmm. Well, I heard him talking to another park ranger, and I think they're expecting storms. Yeah, they are. Mm. He thinks he's so funny. He's like, there's the old Mitchell chair, if you want to tell you that. I think it's Martin with the yellow. Where you just lived up in there. <laughs> Hello, little friend. That's where I stopped last time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember you made it that far. Yeah, I did. This is the Environmental Educational Center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the trail. I did. Well, Tommy did. That one. So there it is. That's where we're going. I'm already further than I made it before. <laughs> so, <laughs> proud of myself for that. So that's where I stopped Ooh. last time. <laughs> so the first time I didn't even make it out of the truck. <laughs> Second time I stopped down there. So, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Y'all, look at the daisies. I love Daisy so much. I'm also stopping <laughs> to take a rest right quick. Wow, y'all. Almost there. This is a piece of cake compared to that marble mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These trees are like, nope. I mean, they're completely flat on top. Almost. I was telling Tommy, <laughs> this lady was, this is the grave of the dude. <laughs> this lady came down and she's like, climbed all this way and this is it. I'm super proud of myself. We're still going up there though. Yep, that's the Wow. You see our house from here. <laughs> that big old mansion over there. <laughs> that's your house, huh? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's where we live. <laughs> we live at the base of... I feel like I need the Rocky Montage plane again. Yeah, there's Table Rock Wizard. Hey, so. yeah. I made it, y'all. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I can't say anything.
Wow. Wow. Tommy said on a clear day, he could see for miles. Look at them clouds, man. I did it. I'm proud of me. <laughs> There's a snail. Hi, friend. Not only did I do it, y'all, I did it in flip flops. I'm proud of myself. That's what. Man, it's not the easiest thing you're ever going to do. It ain't that hard. No, it's really not that hard. The marble mine trail was way harder. Second time I did it, I jogged up it. Whatever. You're such a show off. <laughs> it's just so magical looking. Mystical. A little cut through there. All the moss on the tree. Mm -hmm. Look how the moss totally coats that tree. Telling y'all, this is a magical forest. This might be over there watching somebody get arrested. He's so nosy. And just in case he needed backup. <laughs> so Tommy starts lying as he's watching this guy get arrested, and he's like, "I'm watching in case he needs backup, even though I'm off duty." <laughs> and and what, what, the what, guys, what would you have done? The guy's like. What's going on here? And I'm like, oh, I'm a pet detective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't say that. You moron. You moron. <laughs> oh, God. Did something happen? I don't fucking know. I'm a pet detective. <laughs> you're sitting there telling everybody you're there in case he needs backup. And this asshole's going the wrong way. You don't get your ass in trouble, too. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for doing it. And now I'm watching these people with their camelbacks and their spikes. Hiking poles. Hiking poles, whatever. Like, and their full, like, outdoor outfitters stuff on. And I'm like, y'all, y'all don't need that. Y'all really don't. If I, if I could make it, y'all don't need it. I'm telling you, you don't need it. I, I made it in flip flops. <laughs> you don't need a camelback, a backpack, some nature valley. You don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just telling you, I'm being honest with you. Bars. That was infinitely easier than any of the ones we've done. <laughs> and it took me three times to make it up there. So Doug said it was gonna rain today, Tommy. Doug knew. Doug said he had to get on out of there. Yep. <laughs> you got this under control. <laughs> Walker. <laughs> Texas or North Carolina Ranger. You got this shit there. Did he lock it up? No, he's still propped up on the car like a fugitive. Uh-oh. That's mom and dad. All right, what you do, boy? Junior. Boy, you got bad in there. I don't have any service up here, so when we get back down here, I don't know which way to go, so we'll probably end up back at the Big Lynn Lodge again. Little Switzerland's not going to release us. Captures. I'm all right with that now. <laughs> Well, what did you think about Mount Mitchell? I loved it. I really did. And I and like I said, if I could do it in flip flops, some of these people are like way over outfitted for it. I just wish it wasn't as cloudy today, but the chance of rain both days was the same. So. I kind of think the clouds added to it though. Kind of added to the like well, the mystique see. of the woods. I got some pictures, hopefully, and I'll show you what it looked like when uh, the last time I came up here. Taking pictures of the clouds when you're up there close to them is a completely different experience. It is. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, that guy's going to jail and you know how far jail is from here? I have no idea. A long way. I mean, hopefully you know, I get there the GPS ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he had his hiking bag out there and they search it. He's gonna find something. Yeah. There was something. There, there was a reason yeah, out of 200 people, you got picked to be frisked down and searched yeah. in the parking lot. So he was he did something. Either he he lit up the wacky weed, devil's lettuce, or or you know maybe he got a little handsy with somebody, or maybe he didn't stop for pedestrians. He did something, he did something. because I saw that ranger in the gift shop, and he didn't look like he was motivated to arrest anybody today.
he was more concerned about the weather. Well, the last time I seen him, he was going up, and I didn't see him anymore at the top. I didn't see him at the top at all. Hmm. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe dude was picking like flowers and stuff. I don't know. I mean, that would warrant a car no, search. Like, hey, dummy, don't pick the fucking flowers. Right. Like, okay, I won't do that no more. Well, anyway, so we're back, going back down the mountain now. That was fun. I really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10, Tommy. Thank you for for talking me into it. Wow, y'all. Look at all those flowers. <laughs> Down there where you can't get to them. Down there where I can't get to them. I just want to see them. I don't want to pick them. I just want to see them. Do what? You can tell a storm's coming from a long way from up here. Yep. So I realized what you realize? that we didn't get an intro at Mount Mitchell because it was so crowded there. Yeah, a lot of people there. You know, and you had to like try to get by people would stop like right in the middle and everything so no intro to that welcome uh, Mount oh, hang on today's episode of travels with tommy and Lori. we are going to mount mitchell <laughs> state park yeah y'all are to go and, yeah. and we've heard it's a great destination yeah yeah we've heard i took a nap the first time i went second time i sat on a bench so you know but, uh, yeah, this, consider this the intro. Yeah. Done. Flats. A longer tunnel. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, well, that's over. <laughs> well, well, all right, right. Welcome, welcome back. back. We went to Schlotsky's for lunch after that because there was nowhere else to go. Schlotsky's was good. It had, yeah. Schlotsky's had a drive through Yeah, yeah, it had a drive through <laughs> And I love Schlotsky's. It's one of my favorites. It, so. was, uh, it was a different experience going through the drive through It was. It was harder. So we took our trip up Mount Mitchell. It's the highest point east of the Mississippi. I'm going to turn all the statistics over to Tommy <laughs> because he um, knows what he's talking about. No, I really don't. I just Google stuff. <laughs> but it's an awesome place. And there was a battle between two men that uh, was trying to establish the highest point in North Carolina. Yep. And how do you do that back then? I have no idea. Me either. They somehow figured it out. And the other one, like she said, was Klingman, which yeah, is Klingman's Dome. We have to take y'all. Which is several, several, several miles away I know. from each other. So I don't even know how they compete. What I thought was funny was that the Klingman dude was the other dude's student. Right. So he learned everything that he knew about the mountains and measuring all that stuff, geography, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they were scientists. Yeah. And I, I reckon you'd call them explorers. But yeah, they, they were in a battle to find the highest point in uh, eastern North Carolina and... Alicia Mount Mitchell Mitch died proving he, his point. Yeah, and he proved his point because he buried at the highest grave in North Carolina. So <laughs> he, he won. All right, so tell me opinion. about this place. So um, it became a state park back in the, I think it was the 40s or something like that when they finally made it a state park. But the, uh, the highest snowfall ever on top of the mountain was three foot. And the uh, the lowest temperature was negative thirty four. Wow, that's yeah, cold. Yellow cold up there. Yeah, I don't like it under like seventy two. And the highest wind ever recorded up there was seventy seven mile an hour. Mm. So you imagine it on top. Well, you, it blew the first marker off. Of yeah, the mountains, uh, a bronze and marker. That, and that wasn't even the uh, the highest uh, wind back then. Right. But not too far from their grandfather's mountain, they actually had one hundred twenty one mile an hour winds. So dang. Hey, well, that, hey. that, that, that rings true because we went to Grandfather's Mountain years and years ago oh, when, I was pregnant with, <laughs> when I was pregnant with our daughter. And, um, yeah, it, it, was, it was very windy out there. And we still hadn't made it back to Grandfather's Mountain, but we will. <laughs> but we will. Yeah, we'll see about that one. But anyway, um, I was very proud of myself. This time, Tommy didn't think it was any big deal because he's climbed it. I think the first time times. that I did it, I'm pretty sure that little trail was pea gravel, 
And over the years, they, I think, that, I'm pretty sure it was. Cause I don't know. The first time he and I went, <laughs> I was like, well, go ahead and have fun. And, you know, I'll take a nap. And this was 20 years ago, y'all. And right. then the second time we went, I walked up to the to the one area and then came down on the bench there until I got my wind back. And, <laughs> went back. <laughs> no, I didn't. I went down that, that balsam trail. But. Right. But, yeah, it was... um. It's a very interesting place, but I, I highly Beautiful. recommend going in the early spring as soon as you can. It's off the Blue Ridge Parkway, so you got to check your times of when the Blue Ridge is open and when it's closed because they do it for weather. But as soon as it opens, go because of all the flowers and stuff, and it would be a little bit easier on you. You don't have the high humidity and stuff, but the temperatures up there were good that day. Yeah, they were. But it was cloudy. And there is not a bad view. No, Along the parkway, go on the way up there. There's there's not a bad view, and stay at the Big Lynn Lodge because you know. Uh, yeah. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Till next time, bye bye. bye, -bye. Stay, stay spicy. spicy.